Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Legacy RC. But before we look at the figure herself, we're going to look at the packaging. Get a nice box artwork of RC in her robot mode. In her bike mode. The only problem I had with convert it, converting it into the motorcycle mode was the legs wouldn't tab in properly. And I had to look at a reviewer's review just to transform it. It was a pain in the neck of a transformation. And that's all that I disliked about this figure. They could have done the legs a lot more better to go into motorcycle mode than what they did. Pain in the neck to transform, but yeah, that's the art of the package in. We got some nice artwork of RC. And she's based on the Transformers Prime RC, so glad they did this figure, hands down. Problem I have is with the bike mode. But now let's look at the vehicle itself. I wanted to show a figure off on my bike, so I just put Quick Kick on him. on Not him, but her. Put Quick Kick on RC to make it seem like he had she had Jack riding him. But Quick Kick is the closest in color scheme to Jack from Transformers Prime. But here is the bike mode, which looks very nice and really well painted and sculpted. I like it. Size for the pain in the neck, it's not a bad motorcycle mode. And it rolls very well, but now we're going to get down to comparisons with some other Transformers Prime characters. Here we got RC next to Leader Optimus Prime. Why not? Deluxe Class Trailbreaker and Huffer next to Prime. Not next to, yeah, it's a next to Prime RC. Whew, had to correct myself there. Couldn't help that. And of course, next to Legends, Prowl, and now we're going to do some Decepticon comparisons. A Transformers Prime Viacon next to RC. And a Transformers Prime Jet Viacon next to RC. And a of course, with our mortal enemy, Arachnid, next to RC. Now we're done with comparisons, let's get down to transformation. Shall we? Let's. We're going to disconnect these panels, like so. We're going to split the legs, like so. Transformation works better in my hands. We're going to split the arms. It's easier to transform than it is to put in the bike mode. Split the arms like so. And there we got the arms nearly all done. We're going to fold these panels into the body. I I'm busy at the moment. I took him out at 8 o'clock. It's 3. Sorry, my sister's boyfriend talking to me in the middle of this review. Yeah. So, sorry about that interruption. Won't happen again. But sometimes he can interrupt me when I'm in the middle of something. So there's the legs all done. I had to think of the transformation in my head. And then we got RC nearly transformed. And now we're going to rotate her chest around and up. This is giving me a little bit of trouble. There's always something that gives you a little bit of trouble. Uh, 
I got it. It just involved taking off the the legs and then reattaching them. And now I gotta rotate them around or something. And this panel comes off like real easy. Her her robot piece comes off real easy. That's another nitpick about this figure. They could have done better. I'm going to rotate this back to form the backpack. And of course it likes to come off. It does. There is a lot more fuss with this figure than I like. But RC is nearly transformed into a robot mode, and she looks pretty cool. The wheel does come off to form some sort of blast blaster of sorts, but I just don't like that with this motorbike. But I will show it off just for the sake of the review. Forms some sort of weird wheel blaster in her hand. And I looked at the packaging on that. show you how it works. I'm going to try to plug it into her hand, which can be a pain in the neck, which I hate plugging this into her hand because it's just too much stress stress with this. But yeah, I can plug it into her hand and she can use it as a weapon. But I just don't like that. I really don't like that at all. So I'm just going to keep it plugged into her backpack because I hate that option. I really do. And plus, it doesn't seem like the RC I know and love. Hands down. Do I like this figure other than its nitpick options? Yes, it is a good looking figure. Otherwise, but I had like so much trouble transforming this figure a lot, man, because so much fuss in this one figure, they could have done better. But these uh, clear pieces become a shield. You can put them to form one piece, which is an option. I'm going to show that option off to you. They can form a shield of sorts. I'm just not a fan of the shield mode. As I am the whole arm blade thing. And it's hard to get this thing to peg in. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get this thing to peg in, so you're just going to have to take my word for it on the packaging. Because this blade thing is, like, really hard to make work. I mean, I'm doing something wrong. I'll look. Oh, you're supposed to plug it into the tab. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> but, yeah, it can form a shield for RC. She can have an Energon shield and deflect blast blasted at her which is an option if you want i'm just gonna leave them in arm blade mode because it just looks more epic but now we're gonna put on the other arm blade and this just seems like more like the transformers prime rc with the arm blades but now we're gonna do some bot mode comparisons with some other figures we're going to transform Optimus and the other figures and do a bot mode comparison. Which I like to do comparisons in bot mode too, as you know. Sorry I had a lot of issues with this figure. I like this figure otherwise, besides for all the issues. It's not a terrible figure. It's just, they could have done that a bit more easier to transform than what they did. I had the most fuss with that one figure. Is it a terrible figure? Well, to me, it is. But it's not a bad figure to keep in bot mode on your Transformers Prime shelf. I will state that, because I never got the Transformers Prime RC. But this one will make a nice fill-in for that on my Prime shelf. And here we got, uh, got Optimus. 
next to RC, and they look good together. Next, we're going to do some comparisons with some other figures from Beast Hunters, and these are the Beast Hunter bots that never got an appearance in Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. Wish they would have. It just would have been so cool or cool of them to put these characters in the series. But they just didn't, which was a real shame, because Hopper and Trailbreaker would have made awesome additions to Team Prime. Yeah, they would have made awesome Prime, Team Prime additions. Yeah, they would have made awesome Prime characters and Beast Hunters if they showed up. But here we got Trailbreaker next to RC, which looks nice. And now we're going to get down to Huffer next to RC. And yeah, I've memorized these transformations off for a long time. So it's easy for me to transform these figures with ease. But here we got Prime RC next to Autobot Hover, which is nice. They look nice together. Will I pick up the Transformers Legacy bulkhead, you're wondering? Yes, I will try to pick him up. Because, man, I'm trying to complete my legacy collection. And these are awesome looking figures. The only one I had a problem with was Bulkhead. Not Bulkhead, but RC in this line. But I will go and pick up Bulkhead. Just so I can have a full Transformers Prime collection. Because I like Transformers Prime. Besides the nitpicks, would I recommend this figure? Yes. It's probably a C kind of pickup right now because it's so fussy to transform and it, the instructions can give you a lot of difficulties. But it's a nice figure otherwise. Here we got Prowl next to RC. And we got two more, three more comparisons to make and then we're going to end this video. But there's definitely a lot of comparisons here today. Mm. Finally, we got Arachnid transformed. Here is Arachnid next to RC, Mortal Enemy from the Prime series. Why not? Next, we're going to do a comparison next to the Viacons. Got the car Viacon and the jet Viacon. So here we got the car Viacon next to RC. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And finally, we're going to do Predaking as well. Because we didn't show off Predaking for comparison, did we? Nope. Because Pro Prime RC was in Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. So we're going to do the last comparison with Predaking. Before we end this video. Jet Viacon. And finally, the last transformation figure of the day is Transformers Prime Predaking. His leg likes to pop off and I gotta reattach it sometimes. It is an older figure so it does get a lot more fuss issues than I'd like.
and his gun likes to pop out of his hand, so you got to be careful about that, too. But here we got Transformers Prime Predaking next to RC. And yeah, this is a good looking figure. Otherwise, besides the vehicle transformation issue and the bot mode transformation, I'd give it a C at least on how bad the transformation was. But the bot mode looks spectacular. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this was Transformers Legacy RC. And now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.